All right, we need to make the bar that goes across the top of the molar, and it's going to spin. Uh, the wheels will come off of this. So first thing we've got to do is get a hole in the middle to hold the axle. And this is just a piece that I cut out of an old uh, highway sign uh, post. And this is a piece of uh, hot roll steel that I got at the junkyard and milled it down so that uh, it's roughly an inch and a half by an inch and a half. And what I'm going to do, this, you know, uh, it's hollow so it's not going to work real great to transfer that energy so I'm going to slide this into it and then put a hole through uh, and then that will lock this in place and actually make this bar turn so the next thing I got to do is get over to the mill and uh, get a hole in the center uh, board out to 0.875 and then put a keyway slot in it and then I'm going to take this and do a, a corresponding just hole to let the axle go through and uh, then we'll bolt, bolt it all down. Okay, see you over at the mill. I got my piece of stock uh, centered in here with my edge finder and uh, front to back and right to left. So the next thing I'm going to do is spot drill it and then drill it uh, up through three quarter. Then I'm going to put my boring head in there and finish uh, boring that center out. All right, I got the boring head in here, and uh, I think I've got it set for a light cut. I'm going to run it down through there, and then we'll measure it and see where we are. All right, so after the first run, we're at 0.775, so we got to go out a total of 100. So I'm going to try taking 50 uh, the first time. That'd probably be fine. All right, I'm gonna get a little chamfer on here, um, and then we'll cut the dovetail. I mean, cut the uh, groove for the key. All right, so I'm getting ready to broach the uh, keyway, and this is the single tooth broach that I made. I gotta get it lined up. This piece is finished. All right, so this is 15 sixteenths. I'm thinking it's going to be the last one. That should be all we need to do there. This is what we're doing, and uh, here's our wheel that we've got turned down, and we've got to make this frame to attach it to the crossbar, and this piece right here that articulates, it articulates the wheel and helps it to ride up and down, and then we'll, and then there's a couple of springs that go from here to another piece back there in the back. All right, let's get this made. Next thing we've got to do is uh, build a yoke to hold this thing. It'll go, it'll uh, go down the sides and across the top like that. All right, let's get over to the mill and we'll drill a couple straps uh, to come down this way first. 
I got a couple of pieces, a quarter by inch and a half strap in here, and uh, I'm going to drill it out so for the axle to pass through. Okay, that should do that. All right, for the axle for this, um, I think what I'm going to do is here's the straps that we cut. I want to be able to pass a bolt through there and all the way through. But this is too uh, uh, too big for that. So I think what I'm going to do is make a sleeve to run through there. So um, I'm going to take this old bolt and turn it down and make a sleeve to bring this uh, down to half inch. All right, I got the bolt mounted in the way that I'm taking off about a ten thousandth uh, uh, of an inch just to clean it up a little bit and see where we are. All right, it fits uh, into the bearing, so now we're going to go ahead and get it drilled out. Alright, this should be the last one. This is a half inch. I got some dye on here, and you probably can't see it. There's a tiny little mark right there. That's where I'm headed. All right, let's get this put together. Um, here's our pieces, and uh, I'm gonna put a couple of washers on each side to kind of get uh, these bars away from this edge here. I've already got our um, sleeve that we made. Already got it in there. All right, so a couple of washers. It's just temporary nut for now. I'll put a lock nut on here later. Okay, this is going to be our plate that we're going to weld to the ends right here. Like that. All right, let's uh, go outside and we'll get this welded together. I'm gonna use this uh, to help hold these in the right place so I, until I get it tacked really well. All right, let's go get the welded together. All right, I got it set up uh, to weld this. Let me get zoomed in here a little bit and we'll get a few tacks on here.
All right, I got this clamped in, uh, clamped down so I can grind it, because uh, you know I got a kind of ugly weld on there. So, Let's see if I can get that knocked off. All right, I think that's got that done. All right, so I've got my wheel down in here, and I'm getting ready to make the arms that'll go down the sides. Uh, to support this thing and I've drawn it out on this piece of angle iron and I'm going to go cut it out on the bandsaw all right I got these cut out and they're going to mount like this so this is down and this is up and uh, I'm getting ready to I'm going to weld a piece across them like this Okay, wait a minute. I'm gonna weld a piece across them like uh, like this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna weld a piece on there like that, and that'll give me something to bolt. You know. To, uh, I'll probably bolt them out here, but this gives me something to help kind of keep them rigid that way. All right, I got this second side lined up here, and let me get a tack on it. Get that off my wooden table here. All right, that's got that piece finished up. I got our bracket uh, set up on the mill, and I need to put uh, two bolt holes, and this is just, one goes about here and one goes here. They're actually uh, in, apart in inch increments, all of those holes. So I want this one to be, I want this one to be uh, about a quarter of an inch in from the end, and then they need to be, uh, that bar is uh, uh, one and three quarters. So it's gonna be half of that distance back. So, I hope I don't have that, I don't have that clamp too close. Anyway, I'll sort through that. All right, here we go. All our holes drilled and now this piece is complete. Alright now all I gotta do is do the other one. I've got this set up and I'm using the uh, frame that's gonna hold it to help keep everything lined up. So what I'm trying to do here is get a tack weld on these. I'm getting these arms welded on here that are going to act like levers to push the uh, wheel down tight to the ground. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can hear it, but we're having a rainstorm out here. Alright, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to hit it with a grinder a little bit to flatten these out where they're going to rub. <laughs> 